hello. Oh, let me hit this. Sorry. Got it. <laughs> hello. Um, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join me today for this um, Rutgers Wellness um, 30 minute um, session. Um, this week, we are reimagining life balance. So with that being said, the quote for this week is, the key is not to prioritize what is on your schedule, but to schedule your, schedule your priorities. Hopefully in scheduling your priorities, you're scheduling yourself. We often um, put others or other events or other um, tasks ahead of ourselves, such as work, um, family, um, church, whatever it may be, um, and we leave ourselves last. Put yourself first. Uh, one of the most powerful words that we can actually say is no. Um, if you're unable to do something, don't try to make it work, you know, say no. Sim simple as that. Um, one of the things my grandmother used to tell me is don't regulate yourself to time. Meaning that feeling rushed in trying to make appointments, well, appointments that don't include work <laughs> priorities or um, other things. But if you're able to, you know, take your time and again, putting yourself first. So with that being said, today's session is going to be um, more of a wellness type of session, um, focusing on our breath. Also focusing on some lymphatic drainage, um, moving lymph throughout the body in order to purify itself. So with that being said, come into your comfortable seat, whether it's um, on a chair or on the floor at your desk, sitting on a pillow, blocks, books, whatever it is um, that will allow you to elevate your hips and allow your knees to descend downward. Remove the skin from underneath your sits bones so that you're totally connected to either the block, the pillow, or the books that you're um, sitting on. Placing your hands in the center of your lap, allow your chin to fall towards your chest. Let your eyes become heavy and close. As you inhale, draw a deep inhale through the nostrils and open the mouth and exhale the air out. Inhaling in, and open the mouth and exhale the air out. Inhaling in, and exhaling out. Two more breaths just like this. As you inhale, allow the rib cage to expand, allow the belly to inflate. And as you exhale, draw the belly in towards your spine, knitting the ribs towards each other. Last one, deep inhale in. And open the mouth and exhale. Go ahead and start to lift your chin from your chest. Let your eyes slightly open. Oftentimes people are um, misunderstanding or they don't quite have the understanding as to what I mean by expanding or the expansion of the ribs and the knitting together of the ribs. So with that being said, go ahead and place your hands on your belly. Let your fingers interlace your thumbs are pressing up against your lower ribs. And as you inhale, expand the belly out. As you do that, you will see that your fingers start to move away from each other. And as you exhale and you draw the belly in, the fingers start to move in towards each other. We'll do this twice more, inhaling in and exhaling out. One more, inhaling in, and exhaling out. 
but that's something that you can do throughout your day in order to slow down your breath and just try to calm yourself within the body. Go ahead and take your hands like this and place your right hand right on the back of the ear. So right behind the ear, and you're just going to drag the hand downward towards the collarbone. What we're doing is we're removing or we're actually removing lymph, lymphatic fluid from the face down into the neck and down into the collarbone. We'll do this one more time. So we're gonna do three on each side. So just moving slowly and dragging it down. Good. We're gonna do the other side. So maybe tilting the head slightly towards the right, taking the hands, bringing it behind the ear, and again, dragging it slowly down towards the collarbone. One, two more. Two, and last one. And three. Nice. Lifting up the right arm. Again, coming into that L shape. Thumb is extended out. You're going to place your hand on the front of your forearm and drag it down. Dragging it down through the armpit and across the chest, coming to the center of the chest. So one, again, dragging it down and coming across for two, and we'll do one more. I'm dragging it down for three. Good. Lifting up the left arm, doing the same on the left side. Three rotations. Coming down the arm, through the armpit, across the chest. The one. Lifting up, dragging down, and across the chest for two. And last one. Going across the chest for three. Good. Go ahead and release the arms. You can shake them out. You can bring your chin to your, your chest, roll it over towards your right. Lift the chin up towards the ceiling, roll it over towards the left, and bring your chin back towards your chest. Reverse in the circle, over towards the left, lifting up the chin, over towards the right and back to your center. One more over towards the right, lifting up towards the left and chin to chest. Going towards the left, lifting the chin over towards the right and your chin is to your chest. Inhaling the arms up overhead. Good. Just reaching the chin up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the sides of the body. So really create length from the hips, through the armpits, through the fingertips. So reaching up and then come into your cactus arms. Come into cactus arms or this step. You're squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back of the body. Good. Inhale, lifting the arms up overhead. And exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. So elbows are going to be about shoulder height. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, squeeze. Three more. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, squeeze. Good. Two more. And last one. We're going to hold here. So keep the squeeze, keep the squeeze in the um, 
shoulder blades in the back of the body. Good. Try to keep the elbows slightly lifted. Breathe here for three, two, one. Bring the hands to meet. So we're opening and expanding the back of the shoulder blades. Good. And as you exhale, open out. Inhale, hands meet. Expand and exhale. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, placing the right hand down onto the floor, onto the mat. Gonna reset left arm up and over. If you have more length, you can always come onto your forearm and reach that left arm up and overhead. So holding here, looking or turning your head up towards the ceiling. If you're outside, hopefully it's sunny and can lift your head up towards the sun. Hold here for three. Keep pressing that left hip down, two. And one, go ahead and lift up using your core to lift. Arms are out to the side, placing that left hand down. Again, you can come onto your forearm if you have that length where you're not, you know, pitching up that right hip and reach that right arm up and overhead. Again, turning your head up towards the ceiling or the sun, the sky, and holding here. Focusing on your breath, your inhalations and your exhalations. Two more breaths here. And last one, deep inhale. Good, go ahead and lift yourself up and come back to your center, your starting point. Letting your feet come onto the floor. Your feet are gonna be nice and wide. So nice and wide. If you have a mat, then maybe your feet are gonna be as, about as wide as your mat, okay? Go ahead and bring your torso in between your thighs. Bring your arms to the inside of your thighs and wrap them around, placing your hands underneath your feet. Placing your hands underneath your feet. So you're pressing the inside of the thighs with the back of your triceps. Letting your torso or your, yeah, your torso, your spine, just hinge forward. So you're hinging forward and holding here. Keep bending in the elbows. That's what's gonna help you to come descend, descend down further. But try to keep the spine nice and long. You're leading with your chin and the crown of your head. Breathing here. For three. Two. And one, lifting yourself up, releasing the hands, and come back up to sit. You can remove the pillow from underneath you, or the blocks, or the books, whatever it is that you're sitting on. Bringing your left heel to the outside of the right hip, right foot is to the outside of the left thigh. You're going to go ahead and twist over towards the right, hugging the knee into your chest and looking over your right shoulder. So breathing here. Three. Two. And one, good. Go ahead and release that. Swing or exchange the legs. So bringing that right heel to the outside of the left hip and left foot to the outside 
of the right thigh. Then a twist over towards the right, hugging the left knee into the chest and looking over your left shoulder. And just holding here, breathing here. Just two more breaths here. Keep it all in. Last one, deep it all in. Good. Go ahead and unravel the legs. Bring your arm. Making your way onto your hands and knees. We're doing a few cat cows here. So hands are right underneath the shoulders and knees are right underneath the hips. Then an inhale, arching the back. Looking up and exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Pushing the floor away. So really hinge in the upper part of the back. Pressing through. Arching the back, looking up. And exhale, chin to chest. Really pull that belly in, as we discussed earlier. Pressing through, looking up. Arching that back. And exhale. Come into your neutral spine. You're going to take that right foot, place it to the outside of that right hand. Come on to the side of that, that right foot. So the right knee starts to descend downward. Place the right hand on the right thigh, your right knee. You're going to twist over, over the right shoulder. And hold here. Three. Shooting your hips forward. Two. And one, good. Placing the foot back down. If you're able to, if you have a block, if you have um, books, you can place your hands or your um, forearms onto that block or those books. If not, you can stay lifted onto your hands, okay? Just keep pushing your hips forward. Bring that right foot a little further out to the side. But you can come onto your forearms. Just letting your torso sink to the inside of that right hip and hold here. Breathe here. As we're saying, making yourself a priority. If any of these movements become overwhelming for you, or if you feel any type of discomfort, you can back off the pose a little bit. You can back off that pose. You know what's going on internally inside of your body and how something feels. You may feel some discomfort, and that's normal, um, especially coming into positions that are unfamiliar to you. But there is a between pain and discomfort. You should not be in this pose for just three months. Two. And one. If you're not, on your hands, go ahead and lift yourself up. And you're gonna swing that right leg back behind you. Again, hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. I'm gonna arch the back, looking up. And exhale, bring your chin to your chest, we're pushing the floor away. Pull the belly in, come back into the neutral spine. And placing that left foot to the outside of the left hand. So again, it's gonna be slightly out to the side. And place that right hand, I mean, sorry, left hand onto that left knee. And you're looking over your left shoulder, coming onto the side of that left foot. And breathe there. And three, two, 
and one. Go ahead and place that foot back down. Come onto your forearms or your blocks or your, your books. <laughs> and hold here. Allow the torso to fall in between or to the inside of that left thigh. Allow that right hip to start to push forward and descend downward. Hold in here. You may notice that one side is a little bit more flexible, a little bit more, um, a little bit more lubricated than the other, and that's totally fine. Hold in here. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Good. go ahead and place your hands down. Bring that foot slightly inward. I'm gonna bring that right foot to, to the outside of the right hand. So you're kind of coming into a squat. And extend the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Put chin to your chest. Inhale, come into your squat. So seeing the glutes down and exhale, reaching the tailbone up towards the ceiling for two. Lengthen through the back of the hamstrings. Inhale, looking forward, squat, and exhale, extending up. Two more just like this. Inhale, squat, and exhaling, lifting up the tailbone. Last one. Inhale, squat. And exhale, reaching up. Begin to turn your feet slightly outward. You're going to bend in that right knee, walking your fingers towards the right slightly, lengthening through the inside of that left thigh. Hold here for three, two, and one, straighten that right leg, walking the fingertips over towards the left, bending in that left knee, and lengthening through the inside of that right thigh, and holding here. Three here. Three. Two. And one, come back to your center. Walk your hands to center, placing your left hand in between your feet. So it should be equally spaced between your right and your left foot. Pressing down into the mat, placing that right hand onto your sacrum. You're gonna twist the body towards the right, looking up towards the ceiling of the sky. Holding here, breathing here. Using the breath, maybe with every exhalation, you're twisting a little deeper, but keep pushing the ceiling, oh, the ceiling, the floor away with your hand. You're breathing here. For three, bringing the weight slightly forward towards the front of the toes and let's lengthen the hamstrings. Two. And one, good. Go ahead and place that right hand down, replacing that left hand, and placing that left hand onto your sacrum, twisting over towards the right, I mean, towards the left, sorry. Just holding here. Two more breaths. And one more. Letting your left hand move to the right in between the hands. Bring the arms up behind you, interlacing the hands behind you, bringing the waist slightly forward, reaching the arms off of the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We've been doing a lot of that today. 
and breathe there. For three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and release the hands down. Bring your right knee and your left knee back onto the mat. Curling your toes under. Go ahead and sit up on your knees or stand on your knees. Or you say that. So hands are going to be on your lower back or your sacrum. Thumbs are pointing up. Palms are pressing into your sacrum. You're pushing the hips forward. Lifting the chest, moving up towards the ceiling, or maybe slightly behind you. Breathe here. Two more breaths, see the in. Slowly we come up, flatten out the feet, let your knees be as wide as your mat. You're going to come into what we call a child's pose. So knees are as wide as the mat. Maybe your toes are touching, your butt is reaching back towards your heels, and your head meets the mat. Fingertips are reaching forward. Coming into your breath. Take a note of how your breathing is. Has it deepened? Has it become more shallow? If you're not breathing in and out through your nose at this time, go ahead and do so. That's going to help you to control the breath. So if you're able to lengthen it in order to calm the body. Breathing here for two more breaths. Keep the hands. And exhale. Last one, keep the hands. And exhale. Pushing yourself up to sit. Bring one hand to the body, the other hand to the body. Inhale your arms up overhead. Interlace the fingers. You're going to flip the palms over, reaching the palm up towards the ceiling. So just taking a nice little stretch here. And then as you exhale, fold forward over your thighs, over your shins, hands meet the floor, your chin is to your chest. Reaching the hands forward, reaching the tailbone back. You can come onto your finger pads in order to lengthen more underneath the armpits and the upper part of the shoulders. Keep breathing there for three. Two. And last breath here. Yeah. And one. Walking your fingertips towards your shins in order to lift your torso. Allow your eyes to slightly close. Placing your right hand onto your belly and your left hand onto your heart. Your chin descends again towards your chest. Take a moment to acknowledge your presence this afternoon. Take a moment to acknowledge yourself in placing yourself first in your priorities.
Draw one last deep inhale in through the nose. And this time you're gonna open the mouth and just sigh the air out. Thank you for spending the afternoon with me. I hope your day goes well. Um, tomorrow it's in Puerto Mayo, so have a margarita for me. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.